Just before I say it again, Monday, one of my favorite days of the week because of this. You're watching On the Red Carpet. Get the latest Hollywood news brought to you by Pacific Rim Photos and Videos. Your eye on the red carpet. Pacific Rim Videos, uh, Peterson, hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA. Always glad to be back here. And this guy always works the red carpet, yeah. but one day I know you will walk the carpet. If you uh, haven't yet, <laughs> Chris Franson, hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA. Well. So we've been showing uh, Darren Chris dropping for Cabo Bay in LA. You caught up with him last week. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was an amazing event. Um, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association donated $25,000 to UNICEF Philippines to support after the big tropical storm that hit the Philippines in December. Seven. And Darren Chris is the, you know, is the representative for UNICEF yes. Philippines. And he came and showed up to the HFPA and accepted the $25,000 check. $25,000, that will go a long way. Yes. But um, how, do, how does the HFPA decide who to give uh, checks to? Well, for this one, they actually, Ruben actually said he was, he felt like he needed to do something, so he told all his members, let's vote on it. And they right away they said, okay, you, they said yes, and that's how they had this special event for that. Because usually they have an annual mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> philanthropic event that they do once, once a year at the Beverly, Beverly Hills Hotel. And so they usually give out to any any organization, schools for scholarships or any endowments that, that help with the arts and entertainment. But then also they help with any any natural disasters. And that is why props to Ruben and of course Janet Nepal is the only two Filipino members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association for bringing that issue to light. Yes. But it's not just that. Some people help, they give money and they donate and they forget about it. But mm -hmm. your interview, you got to interview Darren Chris, yeah. and we're going to show that interview in just a little while. But for now, it's seemed to me like he was aware of what was going on. Yeah, you could tell it wasn't just a prep. You, you know, I, I feel sometimes people might get like a little blurb and read it on the way to the event. But, you know, he was talking about how he has family in the Philippines and that they, you know, let him know what was going on. I mean, it, it seemed like it was like a big deal to him and important. And, you know, one kind of backstory thing is he was filming Glee and they were filming all day but he actually made the time out of his schedule to leave the set of glee come because he wanted to physically be there right. to accept it and go back that's how important it was for him what a wonderful kid this yeah, Darren right. Chris is, and that's why and yeah. ruben has also said before he he knows that this guy this kid will go a long way oh, yeah, he's genuine yeah he genuine sh and very he showed up talented. shook hands with everybody right. was like super nice i mean and it was apologize for being a little bit late so oh, wow. he, he made sure to say hey you know, I'm I'm really here for you guys. I'm loving him even more yeah. now. But don't worry, Chris. I still love you. I love you <laughs> equally because this is the interview that Chris did with Darren Chris. It's a great honor to uh, be able to hand this check off to um, to much needed efforts in the South of the Philippines, especially to a place where um, I have a lot of cultural and, and family ties. And um, I think it's a it's a great step forward and um, helping uh, a lot of. Uh, a lot of things that need a, need a lot of help down there. My, my heart goes out to, and hearts and prayers go out to, because that's all those who are um, have currently been really um, hit hard by the storm. And uh, I really hope that this this humble donation by the HFPA can really um, be a step forward and uh, giving them much needed aid. Another event that you uh, visited and covered was Showdown LA. It's a dance uh, event. Dance event, mostly. It's another dance type of uh, dance style. It's called jerking. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like. So a, we've heard, I've heard of popping. popping. What else is there? Popping. Popping, locking, locking. jerking, oh. hip hop, b boy. What is jerking? Do you jerk? No, jerking is very, uh, but it's a very like West Coast style. Um, people know the new boys. Um, it's it's. It's like a cross between like a little acrobat to a little. You dance, right? Breaking. Just a little bit. Yeah? So can you jerk? <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll show you a video of jerking in just a little while, but you also got to talk to Dietrich, Cabo Dietrich Bike Pride, sorry, yes. with Jet Li Asian Pride. Let's watch this. Uh, have you seen the jerking battles in sa inside yet? No! I want to go No, I want to go watch, but they're bone breaking and some of their stuff hurts. <laughs> my eyes, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just be bouncing back and forth watching everybody's. And this place is cool. And the thing about the jerking, jerking's great. I've never seen, like, a competition like this, but... I just... I think the jerkers should be aware also that, you know, it's like... I see a lot of them doing popping and waving, all that stuff. Yo, if they learn, like, real stuff, it would enhance their jerking, like... To, 
even more, like to a higher extent for sure. That's not all. They have more. Peter, where can we catch all those interviews and all the footage and all the events that you cover? Of course, on YouTube, just slash Pacific Rim Video Press, and that's where you can get all everything and anything that you haven't seen on, on the show. Also, Twitter. Peter, I follow him. Chris, I follow him as well. And earlier, I was asking about jerking. Maybe we can learn a thing or two from this. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. I'll leave you with this video, Jerking. More power. All right.